Okay, so according to the law of averages, I'm at 66% with Mars converters. Time to see if it's 75% or 50%. Mars converters, Dino Force, T-Rex, today on Gorilla Reviews. Okay, yes, we have T-Rex here, the red one. Obviously sticking with the rather colorful theme that the toy versions of the Age of Extinction uh, Transformers had. And uh, obviously a whole lot of leg going on there. And the T-Rex mode, yeah, it's still, that's actually pretty super sentai there. But still, I've seen much worse. Anybody who actually collected the Dino Force figure is going to test for that one. Okay. Then we have the Tail Sword. And again, I don't have the Goldie Dragon, because, well, it just didn't excite me. And yeah, Spot Explorer is the one I meant to talk about earlier. The one I do not wish to remember or touch ever, ever again. Anyway, let's get this guy out of the package and see what we're working with here. Okay, okay. this one has some chickens too. There's points for mediocrity. Are a bit windy today, so I have to kind of keep track of things so that I don't litter. Okay, let's see here. All right, doing good so far. Okay, and let's see. <laughs> it, yeah, it's definitely a little bit sillier looking than the bony stegosaurus, but at least it's uh, not a complete disaster here. Ah, oh, hell. Spring head. Is it spring? Uh, yep, it's a spring head. Oh, great. Okay, one second here. Oh, good. You can just, it's actually a slider, so you can actually get the head out this time. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Now, let's see here. Moving on to the rest of the unit. So now. Ball jointed shoulders, hinge joint, two hinge joints, and a mushroom peg. You know, this time the hands move upward. Nothing in the waist. Uh, he does have this for the body, but that's mostly for the head, which I will give them points for. They did at least know that that gimmick was supremely unattractive and very uncooperative. Anyway, so now we got double hinge for and a mushroom peg for the knees and single point single piece for the feet so they can only get tilt forward but that's most of a transformation so not bad a little gorilla armed and long legged but i can work with it this is one to cooperate with me so, okay there is going to be a bit of a sticking point with this part Apparently that's not going to stay very well, so that's going to be an issue. But otherwise, not bad. You've already seen I played with the horse. Okay, moving on to transformation here. Remove the weapon, fold in the hands. Fold down what will be the dino feet. Let's see here now. Uh, let's see. Push in the head, push down that point right there. Kinda have to fiddle around to get. Ah, oh, here we go. I think we got it. Come on. Jeez. Why did put a lot of thought into this head transformation? Not done that. Okay. Now next we'll put this downward. Actually, move this upward like that. Yes. There we go. Then connect that. Put that. Down, twist. This is getting a little silly now, isn't it? That, that, down. Ah, here we go. Connect these two parts together for the tail. Hmm. Then, about that. 
Uh, boy. Okay, let me just double check something here. Okay, push the head down a little bit further, and well, that's pretty much it. No place to store the sword in dino mode. And in dino mode, it is, well, it's as ridiculous as I anticipated it being. Uh, but it's still a fairly simple transformation, and it doesn't get, nothing gets in the way too much. So it's at least decent. So at least we have that. Okay, so this is something that I can live with, but not something I can't live without here. Imagine you'll probably be in the same boat. But at least we're at 75% with the Mars converters. So take that for what you will. Anyway, I'm the Deceptive Wolf. This has been Mars Converters Dino Force T-Rex. Gonna remind you all, free your mind, free your toys.